Hi Stampers, this is Karen Phillip. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm pleased to show you how to make this card. I'm calling a double door pop-up card. If you open it up, the doors pop open and then there's a, a little sentiment uh, portion inside. So let's get started. For club members, you will receive, you may have received this already, uh, this is the mechanism part and all of the dimensions and all of the colors. So that will also be in your kit. The first thing we need to do is take our outside piece. This is five and three quarters by five and a half and score it at one and a half along the side. We're going to take some designer paper and all of the pieces and measurements will be on the website. Glue this piece on to the flap, like so. We'll set that aside for a moment. Then we have our pieces. These are each one and a half by five and a uh, one and a half by five and they are scored at three quarters inch. I'm not sure if you can see it, but they're all scored at three quarters of an inch. Then we need to take our paper trimmer and we are going to first mark these at one and a half inches down from the top. And these are indicated on our little sheet here. Right there, they're down. You just make a little mark on each of them. So we'll take a pencil and I will use my my grid paper, put it at one and a half, make a little mark, and both of them. Next we will score an X. So to do that you take the point of one piece and go down to your mark on the opposite side and we'll just score it, make sure I use the right blade. Typically for class I'll take out the cutting blade so we don't get mixed up. Then we'll pivot it over and do the other, the opposite corner, the top to the mark. You want to be pretty precise so that it will fold decently. We'll take the next one and do the same thing. Now we will take our piece, or we'll take our paper snips, and we will trim from the one of the marks to the center and up. We'll do that for both pieces. You could do two at one, but in case I mess up, I'd like to do them separately. So it'll look like that. We'll do the other one. You can do them both the same, or you can do them opposite doesn't really matter. So I did mine opposite on this one. So that's what it'll look like. Now we will take our card and attach these. So you can discard these little pieces here. I found it safest to lay them out first because if you don't you could put them on upside down or backwards and I know that because I did it. So we're going to score this piece, or uh, fold it in half, like so. You might want to get rid of your, erase your marks. Okay, so I start, I'm starting on the left. We will just lay that there and then, so the, the little uh, angled side is toward the outside edge of the card. And same with the other, the angled side is toward the outside edge of the card. So the way I found this to be the most, well the best for me, I fold it in half, take my Tombow glue, and just lightly put on the glue. You want to stay away from the edge, and then just lay it across the bottom and across the side. 
so you'll have this piece extending over the top. One thing nice with glue is it can I'll put the pad under it so you can see better too. There we go. And now we'll do the other side. Again, make sure that this is facing the correct way. Fold it up. Glue that portion. Don't go too close to the edge. And then you will fold it down even with the bottom and the other side. And just like so. Now we will actually decorate these two pieces. And I'm using a half inch strips of designer paper. And again, everything will be listed in the on my blog. So we will just, you don't need glue for this, you just can use your adhesive. And you can do the, this one has gradient on it, so you can do light to dark or dark to light. And that goes right on the, on the left and right sides of it. So we're covering up this little angle piece here. And you probably want to make sure that your gradients are going in the same direction. So you'll leave a little bit of a border on the bottom and the same will be on the top and the sides. Alright, now we'll continue on with the uh, um, mechanism. So now we will take, this is on an angle, we will fold this down like so and I always have to kind of look, okay. And then this piece I'm going to fold in just to crease it, but then unfold it. Same thing with this. I'm just going on the score lines. So now we're going to glue this little this little piece when it's flat. And again, you don't want to go too close to the outside edge because the glue will ooze out. We'll do that on both sides. Not sure how well I can see this. So this little flap is is going down. So you have like a house here but then a little thing going on the outside of it. So you hold on to those and close your lid or close the top piece over it and hold it for a moment. And then what I also found to make it a little more secure is when you pull it up, yeah mine didn't stick, um, when you pull it up, because they tend to not stick, I'll take the, the flap and make it go like this, and then just pull that down and then hold it. See this one didn't stick either, so I'm just folding it like this. There we go. So this piece will actually be flat. So you can see that it's stuck underneath here and stuck here. Okay, and now you can see that this is going to close like that. Now we will attach the doors and the doors will be side by side. I've embossed these in the bubble. It's like a bubble embossing folder and that is a trio of it's a trio and there's uh, three embossing folders on the online store. Next we well we'll lay these down and you want to lay this is going to kind of come down on you. You want to make sure that they're on the bottom edge. You'll, you'll lay them out to the bottom edge. And then you want to make sure that they're the same on each side. So you can kind of see just a little bit of a border on each side. And then I like to just hang on to them. You're going to see all hands here. So I'm hanging on to them on the top part of it, lifting up this and applying the glue to just this little tab. You can see that. 
and push it down. And while you're still holding it now, you'll do the same with the other side. Lift it up and glue it. And that way they stay the same distance apart and they'll close nicely. Give that a moment to dry. And then take the other side, the top part, pull it back and underneath you can, you'll be able to see the little the, the tab part that you need to glue. So here I'll show it a little closer. So this part is where we're going to glue. And now they're all even. That's just a good way to do it. You can decorate the inside of the doors, put a backer on it, but I didn't see it necessary. It was pretty good. So that's basically the mechanism, how that works. So when you close the card, it's like that, and when you open it, it pops up. The next step is now decorating and putting the inside piece in. I have three pieces, and this will go up on top, like that, but we need to stamp it first. I'm using the Share a Milkshake bundle, but we're not cutting anything out with the dies right now. And the Share a Milkshake has all of these cute little pieces. It can be for Valentine's, but we're just doing it a celebrate one. And I'm going to stamp this in speed mode. Now we will glue these all together. So I just have a, a oh, what's this called? Bubble bath and a fresh freesia piece and then our white piece. We'll glue those together. Again, all the dimensions are on the site. Now we will take our card and just glue about three quarters of an inch on the top of it. Do that quickly here. Again, you don't want to go too close to the edge. Little tap and it makes it work again. I just put a little bit of glue on the top. Fold this down. Center it on the entire card. And the glue gives you a little bit of wiggle room then. Just put it on like that. Now we will do the inside. And this piece is, I think it's four, it's a three and three quarters by eight, folded in half. And when I first did the card and you opened it, people didn't know that it had an inside in it. So they, they thought it was flat, and I said, well, you have to lift it up. So because of that, I'm adding just a little bit of a tab to, so that people know that there's something underneath. And to do that, I'm taking a one-inch circle punch, or any circle punch will work, or you could use a die, and you just trim off a little bit of a portion of a circle. The one-inch circle punch is not a current item, but any circle will do. Um, now we will decorate this. Next we will adhere the finished piece onto the card itself. So we open up the flaps. Because we open these flap 
from the beginning. You can do it flat so it's easier. And we'll just take this, put adhesive on the back, doesn't have to be glue. And just center it inside of that opening. Like so. And then you once it's there, you can open it up. And that's all it is to this card. So thanks for watching and have a great day.